Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Knows, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.16. And in this Let's Play episode, we are going to explore the uh, train station. So we're right at the entrance gate right now, doing a little bit of uh, do si do with the zombies around here. So let's head on in. So there is a large office complex to the north here. Uh, the reason why I'm at the train station is, for one, we're kind of getting near the end of how much we can loot in Moldra, and I really wanted to be able to hit all of the all of the spots that you'd normally not hit if um, you were just kind of looting the main area. There's an office complex to the to the northwest of us. I'm kind of trying to um, collect all the zombies that are in this area. It's a very large area that could have potentially tons and tons of zombies, so we want to make sure that we hoard them up. That way they're a little bit easier to manage. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to that office complex, but the, the other reason why I wanted to hit this place was because of the fact that I tended to find a lot of magazines here, uh, especially ones pertaining to electronics, so like the ham radios, like, the, like basically you get a lot of the Gorilla magazines which is the, the ones that give you the opportunity of building um, a two-way radio, uh, ham radio, and all that sort of thing. But I do remember getting a lot of other magazines here as well, such as the farming ones and cooking ones. So I'm really, really hoping that we're going to be able to find the magazines that we're still lacking, uh, especially the, the, uh, the trapping one as well as the herbalist one. Now, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant to walk in here. For one, it's dangerous. One second. <laughs> it's dangerous for one. The other is there tends to not be enough to warrant putting yourself in danger in here. Like office, office, uh, you know, office, uh, offices? Sorry, I'm a little bit scared. Uh, the offices tend to only have like pens and paper, rubber band, uh, a lot of a, a lot of things that really don't mean anything to the game right now. So I'm merely using this building as a way to uh, avoid that large horde that's right next to us. So let's go ahead and get the key and check these. Yep. Okay, we're good. Everything else looks uh, pretty much empty. So uh, that, that huge horde is now kind of on the south side of this building, so we are free to move east. Uh, but there's probably going to be a lot more zombies to avoid, so we're going to be pretty stealthy in this particular episode. I don't want to get into a situation where um, we're tired, we're hungry. Uh, that would be bad to be uh, in that state this far out from civilization with very few places to rest. I don't have my my tent kit with me, which is a pretty big mistake, but I, I think I can accommodate um, the error on that. There, there are a few places to rest. I will just need to make sure that uh, none of the zombies are currently aggroed on us when uh, we decide to rest. So there's a train car right over here that we're going to take a look at. Um, they have boxes in them, such as the ones that we found in the warehouses as well as the lumber yard. So we're not gonna spend too much time looking through them. We'll look for maybe some nails and some other, uh, maybe another ax or so. But other than that, like our, even our bag is pretty much full as well. So we don't wanna spend too much time here, but it'd be nice to see what is here before we start making plans to grind out our skills and then get to the point where we may start moving north to, um, to uh, Knox County or uh, West Point. So as you can see, it's just basically the same stuff that we found an abundance of in uh, in the warehouses as well as the logging yard. So we already have a tremendous amount of that stuff. Even a tremendous amount of stuff that we actually haven't even looted yet. I hear a lot of zombies on the other side of this car. Let's just take a look. Oh, uh, look, it sounded like there was, like, hundreds of them, but really it was just the two. I'm going to be very conservative about um, my exertion usage, so I'm not going to kill as many zombies as I normally do. Try, just trying to get through this as, as uh, stealthily as possible. Wood glue, definitely something that we need to pick up. We might actually need it in this little adventure. 
Now, if we do find, yeah, see, we got 10 pegs as well as a tarp. So, oh, I thought there was a tarp over here. Could have sworn I saw one. Oh, nope. Where was that tarp? I know I saw one. Come on. There it is. All right, so we've got one 10 peg and a tarp. If we can find, I'm oh, probably not gonna be able to carry that. If we can find three more 10 pegs, at least we'll have a, a kit available to us. So we have a, a saw as well, so that way we can make the sticks needed for the tent kit. Just being really careful here. Could use some another watering can, but that is pretty heavy to be carrying all the way back home, which we're pretty far away from at this point in time. So just kind of looking for, we can get some nails. And any other tent pegs that we might find. Because uh, it would be nice to be able to rest every so often and really kind of, maybe on the way home, we could max out this next level of sprinting, which would be really nice. But you can't really do that unless you got something um, that is helping you rest while you're doing so. Alright, so here's a pretty large pack here. We're going to try to avoid notice. What's this? Is the body that I made? I recall. So here's a little um, little train depot here. It's a good place to get nails as well as other um, other tools that you would normally find in uh, these kind of uh, these metal shelves that are uh, found in the warehouses and all the other industrial type buildings. So let's just get a needle. Pretty sure we have one, but just in case we don't. Lots of, another full thing of wood glue that we'll go ahead and eat this chocolate to make room for. Alright, that should give us enough room. And get us in the green for food. We got a storm outside. Battery. Alright, we're just going to check this lower level and then the catwalk above us. I think there's another set of shelves up there too. Really just looking for magazines, nails, tent pegs. Not doing a full looting run here. We're just... Box of nails is always good. Let's see, what can we drop? Uh, we'll drop a cooking pot. Cooking pots are so heavy. Another box of nails. Now, nails aren't as... There's another tent peg. Nails are not as rare as they used to be. Being able to... Uh, Dismantle carpentry items really gives you quite a bit of uh, nails at your disposal. Makes it really easy to find them now. And with the skill that we're at, oh, <laughs> th thunder scared me. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, with the uh, carpentry skill that we're at, it really leaves us uh, in a position where we can get nails pretty much anywhere if we wanted to. I'm just gonna check up here. Yeah, it looks like there's another. Another shelf up there that we'll check. So let's head on over there and uh, see what's in there. What, what are we freaking out about? Oh, it doesn't look like there is a pathway down on this side. There's another level, which... Is that what she's freaking out about? Oh, nope. nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a lot more of these shelves up here. And a way to get down. I'm freaking out more than she is. <laughs> Poor Helen. The situations we put her through. So let's keep on looking. But as you can see, there's a lot of useful items here. Not to mention these really large buildings that if you wanted to, you could easily make another, a big, very big uh, permanent safe house here. All right, looks like uh, that's the ladder going down. Okay, let's head that way. So, I mean, you could easily just you wanted to, you could extend the floor of these catwalks out with um, wooden wooden floors and have a very, very large indoor room with very little work to um, to uh, seal it. I mean, what is that? Like eight eight walls worth, so sixteen walls worth of uh, sealing this place up. That'd be really nice. Though a, a lot of zombies do spawn in this general area, so you're going to have to do a bit of clearing 
um, while you're, you know, getting ready to make a, a safe house in this area. But if you notice, there is a strong lack of, uh, like, places to rest. Your best bet is at the office complex, where they have lots of chairs. Let's get that kitchen knife. Actually, may be the better bet for us. We have four of them on us. So that may be the better weapon to use while we're trying to conserve our, um, our fatigue here. Or manage our fatigue. Just checking what other weapons we have. I don't really need a pistol. This did have a red dot, so maybe we could uh, use our screwdriver to get the red dot and then leave the pistol behind. And it is, what's the quality on it? And the quality is max, so it's kind of a loss, but not really. Let's get that red dot and call it a day. Where's the red dot? Here it is. 0.02 compared to the 2.0 from the, uh, from the pistol itself. Still need to drop a little bit more. I don't really need a worm on us, even though it weighs practically nothing. These orange sodas are pretty heavy. Go and take this guy out. Alright. What else can we drop? We got so many books on us. Let's get this axe in our main inventory so that we are more mobile. Great. Alright, so we're going to use this knife for killing the zombies. Hopefully we're not going to have to kill too many of them, but let's go ahead and check these shelves for anything useful. Another wood glue. Look at that. That is beauteous. Dang, I got so much junk on us. Hmm. Anything big we can drop other than all these freaking books? Oh, we got an extra uh, master farming book, so let's get rid of that. Uh, that's that's nice. And I drop both. Great. Alright, let's keep moving. So we're in the little um, kind of a shed next to the Northwest Depot. Just doing all solid snake movements here, killing a zombie but not trying to kill all the zombies. Let's head to the Northeast Depot over here, which is a little bit east, where there is another small building next to it. So definitely definitely worth dropping over here if you're looking for let's say like a, a permanent place to put down a safe house or if you're you're looking for more uh, materials that you would normally find at a construction yard or an industrial building wires especially important got another 10 peg which is good okay this guy's still on us okay Still not sure what welding ro rods are for yet, but um, we will find out when we start our big grind fest starting this week. So um, if you've seen the annotation, uh, we're at a, a, a point now where I've got to work on all of her skills that we can right now. So basically farming, uh, fitness, uh, you know, we need, uh, we need a lot of sprint as well. So I'm going to be doing a week worth of... Of just heavy grinding so I'm going to be on hiatus at least in terms of the uh, in terms of the let's plays but I will be streaming all of that grind it's not going to be fun to watch but if you if you want you can always jump on my stream which is at www.twitch.tv slash Johnny and you can ask me any questions that you have about Project Zomboid or any of the mods for Project Zomboid or any of that sort of thing so I'm going to record all of the grind uh, so that you guys can still see it but I'm not gonna make let's play episodes on me you know running running around <laughs> running around our safe house for <clears throat> days at a time another wood glue so important <coughs> so you can see that right off the bat like we've gotten four wood glue which is like eight axes worth Really need to drop some weight here. Let's just drink this uh, orange soda. It's 0.8, yeah. 0.8. OK. 
Okay, let's get that wood glue and that wire for when we ever get some trapping skill for the rabbit traps. All right, let's head down. So definitely worth checking this place out, even if we are pretty well stocked. I mean, five, you know, four wood glue is is great. And I'll, I'll make, oh, here's a, there's a chair in here too. So we just gotta keep notice of anything that we can use to rest if we get to that point where we need to rest from either exertion or by getting tired. That would probably not be my first pick on where to rest, but you can easily pick up those chairs and move them like on like the third floor of the catwalk. All right, that guy is determined not to notice me. All right, let's keep moving on. Stealth, stealth style here. Ooh, that was close. Didn't get a hit on us, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Watering can. Really could use more watering cans, but that's okay. The other thing we need to keep a close eye on is how many days we're away. So we we basically, and it was nice that it rained just there, uh, because uh, it is be raining at our farm, which means that that's less actual manual watering we need to do. All right, so this room is checked. Let's move south to another depot. And then we get to go into the place where I found a lot of those magazines, which is like, um, I guess it's like a dry dock for, for trains. I'm, I not really call it a dry dock, but it's a large facility where I, I would imagine the trains are either built and or uh, maintained. It's these cool, huge complexes. There's four of them. And in each one, I tend to find a lot of those magazines that we're talking about here. So there's one large depot left. Uh, then the four compounds, whatever they're called. If anyone has any knowledge... Oh, am I using a screwdriver as a weapon? That worked like a knife did. I had no idea. Wow. All right, and we're getting a lot of XP for our, our stealth stuff that we're doing too, which is nice. I think we have two of them on us right now. Let's go ahead and take them out. Nope, I guess so. Uh, nope. Here he comes. Get this one that we back rode. All right, moving on. All right. It's okay. I don't really need to get nails. We've we already just picked up like 200 of them, so I think we're fine for now. Just looking for wood glue and maybe uh, the tent pegs. I make uh, resting for the night way easier. Okay, nothing good in there. Definitely need to start doing some electronics work as well, which would be nice. And basically to level up electronics is you just find as many electronics as you can, can find and then use a screwdriver to dismantle them. Basically how we've leveled up, uh, how we've leveled up carpentry as well as how we're planning on leveling up the uh, uh, metalworking skill. So we're already starting to get a bit tired. So uh, we may need to start thinking about uh, where we need to rest, but I don't think we're at that point just yet. But yeah, these uh, metal shelves tend to have magazines and or tools in them. And these boxes tend to have the same stuff that we've been seeing. Nails, maybe a sledgehammer, <laughs> doubt it. But um, but yeah, let's keep moving south. I really want to get to these um these compounds, which is where where I've seen a lot a lot of magazines in the past. But who knows? I may you know RNG may be against me. We'll we'll find out. Well, let's keep heading to the southwest and see what we can see. There's a small building over here to the west, but um, it's got more of the same as what we've seen already. There is another building on the south side of the um, of the train station, the train depot. It's not necessarily a station, but um, but yeah, let's see what we can find. Just take a quick look into this building to see what's going on with it. Obviously, avoiding as many zombies as we can. But the ones that we aggro, we'll just stick them in the chin. Ooh, big hiking bag. If we're using the knife. I'm gonna equip this as my secondary. That way we got more space to um, carry stuff, which is nice. 
that action is kind of loud. We might have drawn a couple more towards us. Yep. Alright, so here's that larger building I was talking about. Let's just give it a look and see what's inside and then move on south. Alrighty. So I apologize right off the bat if this episode is a little bit longer. I would I was hoping that we can get the whole train station in one episode. So this this episode may be about twenty to twenty to forty eps well, it's already twenty minutes now, so probably thirty to forty minutes long. I'll try my best to cut out some of the walking stuff, but um this place is pretty big and definitely worth checking out to see what you can find. So let's head to our first compound area. All the while, you know, getting that sweet... Oh, I was going to say, getting that sweet stealth XP, but apparently... No. Failed. Pulled at least four to six guys. There's another one. Just going to keep, keep on stealthing. Still a little bit faster than them all. But here's our first compound, which has a lot of zombies out front. We may need to switch the axe, but because we have two bags on us now, we may need to... Uh, see. Lots of zombies around here. Let's see how many we can kill before they converge together. Oh man, that's a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and try to lose them without running into yet another group. Actually, let's go ahead and just pull this group, and then we'll... Yeah, these compounds are kind of strange. They don't load on the south, or the, the end sides of it. It just kind of does this, like... <laughs> this thing is not real. It, if you walk into it, you'll see kind of underneath it. don't think they intended that to, to, to be the way it is, but uh, that's the way it is. Just gonna help go ahead and sprint just a tiny bit. Let's get over to these rail cars and then swing back to the west. I'll go ahead and skip this part so we can get into the looting piece. Alright, so we are back at the front of the compound area. Let's go take out a couple zombies. I think I have two aggroed on me around the corner there. So let's just go ahead and take these guys out. We've got lots of kitchen knives at our disposal right now, so use them if you got them. Alright, let's head inside. I think we may still have one aggro to us. So we've got to be careful how we um, go ahead and Start collecting stuff that we actually need. But yeah, these compounds tend to have those magazines I was talking about, including some strange, like, these uh, these cabinets have kind of like what you'd expect. So here we go. So we already have that one. But it's got a strange assortment of, of uh, items in here, like stuff like fishing rods, it's kind of like the exact kind of thing that we're looking for, including, you know, the same industrial-related stuff that we need. There is a chair in here, so we could use that to rest if we need it, which I think we do at this point. You can see a generator here, too. So, a welding mask, too. Really important stuff in these compounds. We already have quite a few welding masks for ourselves, so we don't really need to get pick up another one, but just just so that you know what kind of stuff you can find in uh, this place. Yeah, lots of electronics. 
and uh, and stuff that you need to build electronics. Propane tank is good. Now I just found out um, just recently that you could actually pick up, and I tested it, and I was really happy to to find out that um, like fishing lines too. It's just really bizarre selection of stuff that you can pick up from here, but um. You can uh, pick up one of the large uh, barbecues. They're very heavy, obviously, but you could take a barbecue and bring it to your permanent place. That's, that's something that I may start to do, depending on how much propane they use. Because we're going to need propane for doing a lot of metalworking related stuff. All right, this may be where we uh, sleep for the night. Obviously going to have to get rid of the zombies that have uh, noticed us. So yeah, probably sleep around in this area here. Or maybe in the corner would probably be better. We want to get it to the point where they can't see us. So let's go ahead and grab this chair after we kill these zombies here. Because I'm pretty sure Helen's not going to want to sleep in a same, the same building as a bunch of zombies. I thought there were two. But, um, yeah, let's find that other one real quick. Always holding down that right click. This is not an area or a situation where we want to call in a bunch of zombies on top of us. So it looks like we're good. Grab this chair using the furniture tool. We're a little bit heavy, but we're still moving pretty swiftly. Go ahead and place it over here. Oop, walked a little bit. That's not good. Let's see. Get rid of that tool. Let's just listen to see if zombies are on the move. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm very scared, guys. Raining. It's good yet again. Our farm is renewed. So we've got about seven to eight days uh, before. I think it's set. No, I think it's more like 12 days uh, when you have low farming skill to grow uh, the cabbages that we have growing right now. All right, so that's the first compound taken down. Let's go ahead and do the second one. There's four total. We're going to definitely be looking at those, um, like the metal industrial cabinets or countertops. That seem to have a lot of the stuff that we're looking for, such as, you know, magazines and just kind of random hunting tools like like fishing poles and fishing lines and all that stuff. So we're going to keep going through here to find some of that rare stuff that you can't normally find in other places. And if you do find it in other places, they, they tend to be uh, very few and far between. All right. So we've got some graffiti on the wall. I think you can pick up that graffiti. All right, let's just check what we got after us. We've got, it looks like four, and maybe another one on the left side. So let's wait for them to come in and uh, take them out safely. Hopefully there's no others in here. This guy just decided to stop. Okay, there's the other two. It's interesting how they stop right there. I mean, here is, is yet another place that would act as a really good safe house. What's going on? Don't want to call attention to myself. All right, let's grab a quick bite to eat. And then proceed to loot. This is the second of the four compounds. As soon as we get a little bit overburdened, we need to stop because we have a very, very long walk ahead of us to get back to the main safe house extinguisher. Wow, I've never seen one of those. I've never seen one of those in the game. Propane torches, always good. It's more its more for the propane inside them than the actual propane torch, but it's nice to find that. And look at all this like really great stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Fishing tackle, it's just it's this weird combination. Like look at all the, the welding masks I've been finding so far in here. Like, we didn't find a welding mask until... I'm sorry, just hit the mic. We haven't found a welding mask until we were at the north um, the north warehouse. 
I already checked those. Now let's go check these countertops here, which um, hopefully we'll have what we need here. There we go, Electronics Magazine. There we go. That's a, that's a really important magazine to be able to make timers. We put a noisemaker down and you can have a timer go off. It's how to use generators. A lot of stuff related to electronics, but I'm really, really hoping we get something else in here. Maybe the trapping one. We'll find out. I just tend to find a lot, a lot of magazines in these in this area. But mostly from those countertops, really. There's another one. Add motion sensors. Awesome. Okay. Oh, had a zombie with us. Bye, guy. Bye, guy. Another generator. I mean, if there was like a mini fridge in here, you could connect that, that generator to the whole building. The zombies noticing our moving around here. That's no good. And look at all this space up here, too. I mean, you can have a really nice little two story uh, perch if you wanted to make one of these your kind of your main place. Just conserving, conserving our exertion here, our exhaustion levels, and making our way to the um, southwest compound. There's four. Looks like there's a lot of zombies around here, though. So let's just quickly take them out. Oh, that was not the move I wanted. Under the chin one, that's a quiet killer. That attack called all of those guys over here. It's no good. I really don't want to use the axe because that will exert us extremely fast because of the fact that we'd be using it one-handed. Let's take out this fast shambler. Oh god. That's not what I want. There we go. And these slow shamblers we can take out. Very nice. Not sure what's loading on my computer during this video, but... Sorry for the little blue circle of death. All right. That was pretty good. Didn't call attention to ourselves too much. Looks like the, the knife is still going strong. Maybe able to find a little food in that... Uh, the dispenser there. That was not smart. <laughs> I couldn't see myself. And like I said, you never want a solid snake, zombies, because you never know how fast they are. See how fast that one was? Oh my goodness. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Oh god. Another close one. Alright, cool. It looks like we're going to be calling these guys in one by one. Let's just do a quick check to see how many more are over here. Oh, yep. That was a good check. Alright, these guys are really... Look how slow these zombies are. Didn't want to use that attack because that causes sound. That one is the one we're going for. Let's do just one last check. Here we go, yeah. I knew that called another zombie. There's probably another one right around the corner too. Yep, there certainly is. Look at all that rain. Just feeding nutrients to our uh, our farm all the way back west. Alright, another fishing tackle. Come on, give us the magazines that we need, please. So another wood glue. Not complaining about the wood glue. Let's eat whatever we find in here. We got some coal and some nails, alright. I'm gonna start collecting coal, but it's just so heavy. But uh, definitely a good way to uh, get yourself another cooking source available to you. A box of nails and some nails. I'm gonna stop looting until we get to the point where we're a little bit overburdened. And then maybe drop a couple things. Alright, how, how heavy is coal? Yeah, eight. Eight. It's insane. Twine, threads, good. Alright, let's check this room in here. 
Uh, all this stuff looks really... Oh, look at that. Fishing net. Some wire. Unfortunately, we didn't find a, um, a magazine in this one. But great stuff all around. Alright. Let's head to the last compound. And then we'll take a look at the small building to the west. And then we'll go ahead and close the episode. And, and as I said earlier... And I did put an annotation at the, the beginning of the episode that I will be on hiatus for a week uh, where I will focus entirely on uh, Helen's skills such as uh, fitness, sprinting, uh, finish up her carpentry, uh, cooking, farming, and maybe some electrical and metalworking too. So we've got a tremendous amount of grind in front of us at this point in the game while we, you know, while we do the farming grind. Um, there's a lot of stuff to grind out that uh, once, you know, once we get past winter, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that in a week, but um, at least we'll be able to get to a point where her skills are going to be pretty awesome by the time uh, we reconvene. And uh, I would love to have you guys see all that, but uh, the best way I can do that is th by streaming it. Uh, which will be like four or five hours at a time rather than 20 minute episodes of you just watching me grind sprinting Which is not gonna be a fantastical experience for you guys So I want to make sure that uh, if I'm if I'm making a let's play episode at least it's got some real content that you guys will enjoy and learn from Instead of just watching me swing an axe all day long to get fitness <laughs> So All right, let's see what else we got in here. Come on. Give us another one of those Magazines. I'm really surprised we didn't find any of those gorilla magazines. A lot of fishing tackles. That's good. Don't need any bait with those things. So good. I don't know if you can make your own fishing tackle. I don't have a lot of experience with doing a lot of fishing. Another propane torch. More wire. Yeah, I tend to spend most of my time in Moldra instead of... Um, at a West Point. All right, looks like that is all we're gonna find in these uh, compounds here. Got some other boxes. You can definitely see that the loot tables for these buildings are different than what you'd experience from, say, a warehouse. It's got a lot more survivalist gear, and sure, it has a lot of the stuff that you'd find in like the warehouses and whatnot. But you can find some other things that you won't be able to find in the warehouses. I don't know, it feels, it feels like they have a more of a, a rare loot table. Ooh, look at all these boxes in here. More of a rare loot table than the, uh, the warehouses. It's a great place to go if you're looking for some of that tougher-to-find gear. I was really hoping to find some more 10 pegs so that the trip back I could sprint, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right, let's check the building to the west, and then uh, we'll go ahead and close the episode for the week. All right, let's head on over there. I'll go ahead and skip until we're over in that area. All right, so we're at the kind of the main complex area to the south end of the uh, train depot. Looks like we either had a key or it was unlocked. But, um... I tend to avoid office buildings because they tend to not not only be really dangerous, but the, the risk versus reward ratio is off, but that's kind of nice. Another idea, if you're looking for another kind of permanent safe house area, uh, would be actually there is a large fence that's running all the way around this complex. This is a scary hallway. I don't like this hallway. This hallway makes me sad. I'm going to avoid it. Uh, you could potentially... God, there's a lot of fresh water here, too. Shotgun shells. Oh, just this random loot table here. Very interesting. Very geared for survival and meta... Whoa! That was bad. <laughs> Let's not do that again. That was a potential leg break. And you know how Johnny Onos does it. The only way he dies in Project Zomboid is by falling. Yeah, big conference room. All right, folks, so we're going to go ahead and stop the episode here. Uh, uh, in between this episode and the next, like I said, I'm going to be doing a tremendous amount of grinding. 
Uh, I will get... I can't really see this stairwell very well. Oh, here it is. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tremendous amount of grinding. I'm going to be focusing on sprinting. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on uh, get you know, maxing out carpentry, cooking, farming, electrical, maybe metalworking. Uh, so I would really like to work on foraging, but there's really nothing we can eat if we don't know if it's safe or not. But I may do a bunch of uh, a bunch of foraging as well, which, as you can imagine, is not all that exciting. It's just right-clicking the ground and saying forage. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this um, the metal fencing around this whole area and just how extensive it is. It's huge. You can see through it. Um, and to tell you the truth, there is very little. Like I think on the southeast side, or sorry, the northeast side of the fence, there is a kind of a, a large opening. But if you compare that to you know other places that you'd have to secure, you can actually secure a very, very, very large area to uh, be able to uh, you know make yourself kind of a nice, nice big safe haven. I would be really great for like a multiplayer community that are just uh, like doing PVE. You can easily just take a couple people and come down here and basically just own this whole area with very little, very little work involved, allowing people to do all their training and, and all that sort of thing. But yeah, definitely uh, take a look at the rail station if uh, you're having some having a hard time finding some of the more rare stuff inside of the uh, inside of the different uh, warehouses. I was actually very kind of surprised by the fact that we didn't find a sledgehammer. I normally find two or three of them in this area when I come down here and I uh, search the whole place. But uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out and hopefully you guys uh, were able to see something kind of cool in this episode where um, I, I, it's, this place is very far from town so um, it's, it's one of those rare places that it takes a lot of effort to get down here, it takes a lot of effort to get back. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as I said, I'm going to be on hiatus for a week. Uh, so we'll see you not next week, but the week after with some more Project Zomboid and a very, very, very buff Helen Cook. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this is Johnny O'Neill's playing Project Zomboid version 35.16. And I'll see you guys not next week, but the week after. Have a great week, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.